Hello, my name is Miguel Arnaiz and this is the INTEF course on Digitally Competent Educational Organizations. I'm going to talk about learning and teaching spaces. For some time now, we know that learning is a situated process and we place a lot of emphasis on this idea. But what does that mean? It means that learning does not occur in the same way everywhere. That doesn't mean that one cannot learn anywhere. What it means is that if we want learning to occur in a certain way and we want to favor specific types of learning, we have to take into consideration the context in which the learning process is going to take place. The space, or better yet, the spaces where we want learning and teaching experiences to take place are immensely important. And it's precisely new technologies that have presented challenges and opportunities to rethink learning spaces in our educational organizations. The first thing that technologies did is to give us access to that other space, or as Javier Echevarria called it, the third environment. There's a wide variety of actions that we don't do in our physical space, but we do virtually, online, on the internet. It is important to point out that when we speak about a certain physical space, we don't use the word real. There is no real space as opposed to a space that is not real. Both physical and digital spaces are real. What we do in these two spaces can be as real as we want it to be, and it has very serious consequences on other people's lives and learning processes. Let's have a closer look at the impact technology has on our spaces. In the case of virtual spaces, the influence of technology is self-evident. Virtual spaces are possible thanks to technology. Digital media enables us to process a vast space where we find information and other persons and which helps us to improve the teaching and learning environment in our school. Even if our organization doesn't do anything to include them, digital media are everywhere and all the members of the educational community live part of their lives in virtual spaces. And that is why they are influenced by the digital media in all of their activities, including the ones related to the school. Thanks to these places, the, ed the educational organization is able to consider the possibility of creating specific institutional spaces in order to make use of the technologies and improve its members' learning experience. Here, we can include public spaces like the school website or the classroom blogs and the internal spaces with more restricted use like the digital learning environments, repositories with teaching materials, a social network for all the members of the educational community, information and communication channels, common use of spaces provided by other institutions or companies. Also, the organization has to ensure the usability and accessibility of these spaces. As an institution, we should take advantage of digital media to expand our school and provide new spaces that will enhance the learning experience of all the members of the school community. In the same way, in the physical world, due to the changes brought about by technology to other elements of the curriculum, redesigning physical spaces so that they become technology-enhanced spaces is a requirement. It is necessary to design, rearrange, and maintain these new spaces in which technology shapes part of the available resources. It is a priority for a digitally competent educational organization to establish a strategy on the provision and maintenance of the technological resources that can be used in school spaces. Depending on the availability, they are always restrictive. These will allow us to put into practice the strategies we already mentioned. Finally, the mere existence of technologies and the fact that the members of the educational community use them calls for a reflection on the existing school physical spaces and the way they relate to technology. These are just a few issues to keep in mind when rethinking the spaces. How many sockets are there? How is the internet signal? Are we going to work using wireless technology or do we need cables, etc.? Rethinking and reorganizing our spaces in order to maximize the opportunities technology provides our institutions allows us to promote active pedagogy within the school.